Great. We'll start with some, just some few breaths up and we'll get our way, our mats centered and we're going to have our bands and our hand weights ready. We're going to wake up this body. A couple breaths more up. Inhale up. Let your hands come down and we'll just wake up that back a little bit. Flexion, extension, flexion, extension, flexion, extension. And then roll all the way up. And then once you're up, just take it over. It's kind of like you're painting a rainbow over. And inhale, you may go a little deeper with that stretch. And over and over. Good. And then let's walk those feet in. Add on some heel raises and lower. Inhale, heel raise and lower. So right now, we're starting to wake up the feet, the toes, the ankles, the knees should start feeling more stable. We're waking up the lower leg muscles, the calves. I'm going to just turn for a moment and I'll change my arms. But see if you can lift your toes and then your heels and lift your toes and lift your heels. So what you're doing now, it's almost like you're the bottom of a rocking chair. And when I say toes, I also mean to include the whole part of the foot except for the heel. So lift up your heels and the whole part of the foot. Lift up your toes and the main part of the plantar foot. So just the heels are on, just the ball of the foot and the toes are on. You can do this exercise if you've been sitting for a long time and you want to kind of get your knees and ankles stable before you put your weight on them but it also helps with prevention of shuffling and with balance. Now we're gonna change it up. So if you do not like uh, squats for your knees, you can take 10 more calf raises. We're just gonna touch these squat muscles, sit down and stand up these quads, these hamstrings, four heels are heavy, five, and this is helpful to get out of chairs, six, Seven, get out of soft couches. Eight, to build bone density. Nine, and 10. Same thing, if you don't like squats, take another either uh, calf raise series with both heels or shin lifts. That's the backup plan. Three, four. The other alternative is to decrease how low you go. Five, heels are heavy. Six, seven, nice, eight, nine, and ten. Now you can hold on to something. We're going to do a single calf raise. So you're, I'm going to just show you on this foam roller how you can wrap one foot and go up and down. Heel raise single. Four, five, six, good. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side, heel raise single. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. Now just a balance, so let your foot come up. It could be on the inner thigh, it could be on the calf. We're gonna do a 30 second count. Take another inhale and exhale, bring your hands down, and then let's put that foot down. Good job, just a basic 30 second count. Still or static balance. Good. The hands can come together, and the foot's gonna lower. Perfect. Grab a sip. We're going to also grab a Dynaband or an elastic tubing. A Dynaband or elastic tubing. 
take your band overhead. With your exhale, pull down. Now this is a bonus. Once you have this part, if you would like to add on a heel raise, you can. Exhale, five, good. Six, nice, neck is soft. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and 15. Now we're going to lower the band, step on the band with two heels in the middle. Bend your elbows and it's a bicep curl and straighten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Try five more. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now take that out. Take the band at your upper back. Push. I'm going to give us an option. So at first, just push out. Okay, just get the arms. But Betty, you know where I'm going with this. Jean, it's up to you. You can stay tall. If you want, you can add a press. Um, Catherine, when you're watching this, if this doesn't feel good to your knees, you can also just stand tall. I'm just throwing in some different things because we do know that adding coordination and sequencing for the brain uh, is really good for the brain during exercise because the brain's already getting more blood flow. Mm -hmm. And out. Nice. Neck is soft. Be good. about three more here. Neck, stay soft, palms are facing up. Two, and one. Now come back in. This is a stretch. Let your arms go wide, kind of like a, a V, and then take the band behind you. Just release, just open. Five, four, three, two, inhale, and Exhale to let that go. Release your shoulders. Take your band with both heels. Stand on the band. Now both hands face you. Elbows rise to the side. Check your knees. Um, Jean, the elbows are going out. Yeah, that's it. This is upright row. Your knees are soft, your neck is soft, your shoulders are working, your biceps are working. And six, seven. Keep your wrist in alignment with your forearms so they don't feel awkward or uh, out of neutral. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now lower that. Now let one band and one hand be your focus. So your band is going to come out a little bit. Still use your heel of the same side arm to lift. Yes, to keep the band in place too. If it's too hard, you'll just scoot your heel over three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
12, 13, 14, and 15. Now switch it up. Heel. Now we're going to switch the heel and switch the hand. We're going to do a front raise. So let your heel be heavy on the band. More shoulders, but now it's anterior delt. Forward, wrist or long. You're going to about shoulder height. Three, this shoulder muscle here. Four, your abs have some tone. Five, so you're not leaning back. Six, your neck is easy though. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and now switch it up. You're going to put your heel on, your arm's going to go forward. Okay, very good. Uh, grab a sip. We're going to do triceps next. I'm going to tilt this up just the tiniest bit too. And let's turn that light up. Good. Take a bicep, I mean tricep. <clears throat> a tricep press is with one arm at your head or skull, one hand at your low back. We're going to keep the butt, the lower hand steady. It's an anchor. Now at first you may not know how much band to grab. So for example, mine feels a little light, so I'm going to grab a little bit more by pulling my bottom arm up about an inch. Five. Now because the arm's overhead, it's a vulnerable place or it's very easy to get lordotic here, so keep the ribs tucking a little bit. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then take it to the other side, hands low, and push, and up, and up. And neck is soft, wrist is neutral the best you can. So it's, it, everything should feel good in your joints. The muscles are working, but the joints are safe and protected. That's our goal. Now, fatigue at the final repetitions is another goal. So let that go. Take a little breather. Nice. All right, this is going to be with the band as well. Take your arms kind of like a V, but parallel to the floor. Check your space. You're going to pull your band to your chest. Your hands go to the side walls or wide. Now, like that is an example. I don't have enough, so I just grab my hands a little one inch closer. Get more tension. So the hands are slightly lower than the shoulders so that I don't get in the upper traps. Knees soft. Breathing. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now this is dynamic flexibility. Go up and back. And I'd like us to take five at least. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, good. Pull the arms wider if you don't quite feel it. Three, four, and five. All right, take that out, grab a sip. We're also gonna grab some weights that we can do bicep curls with. So I'd say fives, six, maybe seven pounds, eight pounds. Bicep curls. Okay, bend your elbows and straighten. And two. Four. These are carrying muscles. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now what we'll say is, this is bonus, if you can do five more or up to five more, keep going. Oh, that's good. That's just a challenge. 18, if you're tired, then rest. 19, let's see if we can do one more. 20, now carefully lower, take those down. Take your fingers at your low back and open up your arms like uh, this. Five, four, three, Two. Now this is a way to release tension, so there's no real wrong way to do it, but just basically move your torso and the arms come along for the ride and they almost, they, they sort of slap or gently hit you on the belly and the back and release this tension. Four, three, two, and one. Now take a couple of weights. They're going to be lighter because we're going to do a lateral raise. So. It could be a two, three, four, five uh, pound weight. We're gonna go out to the sides. We're gonna open like a T. Neck is soft and out, good. Knee soft, three, four. So what happens is your body gets used to the fact that you soften the knees during the sessions. And then when you're standing in line at the grocery store and you find your knees are locked back, you have that memory that cell memory and you unlock them. So that eases the wear and tear on joints. We're trying to ease the wear and tear on joints so that they last without pain and they feel good. Blood flow, lymph can flow easier that way too, not just a wearing and tearing, a lessening of the wear and tearing on the bones. There's cartilage underneath the kneecap, the patella, and we wanna keep that cartilage healthy too and not lock out the knees and kind of rub it um, underneath. We don't want bone on bone in there. All right, up to you. We can take five more. If you feel fatigued, just put the weights down. Otherwise, see if you can do three more. Two. And one. Now lower those weights down. Take an arm over. And if you want to take a leg over, that's a little extra. You can rotate. up and over. Now you're going to take a little rotation. And then letting it go. Now this next one is going to be uh, hand weights to the front. So again a smaller weight because it's a longer lever. So maybe like a two, three, four, five. You're going to go to the front and re recover uh, with control. Basically, you're in control, the muscles are in control, not gravity. Four, five, six, seven, eight.
15, 14, and 15. Now leave the weights down, add these shoulder circles. Keep them um, just for a moment. We're gonna see if we can go right into overhead press. So take your hands here, probably the same weight. Push up, good, knees soft. Now because the weights are overhead, the abs need to be a little active to help stabilize so that the body isn't wiggly and unstable. And exhale, now even though your arms are going up, your upper shoulder blades, your shoulder blades are down the back. Your upper trapezius are not getting up there by your ears. Good. Now lower those weights down. We're gonna take a little breather. Let that down. Mm -hmm. Interlace the fingers here. Open up the arms back. Five, four, three, two. Take the fingers, interlace them, push the palms up and towards the sky, go over. You're kind of pushing through your hands and forearms. Inhale and exhale over. Ah. Letting it go. Five, four, three, two, and then one. Grab a sip if you want. We're gonna mix it up with the intermission of 15 push-ups on a wall or a couch. Anything. So your hands are gonna be about shoulder width and you bend your elbows and you press two. The further away you are, the harder. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, take five more, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Interlace and open up the arms. And then we're gonna uh, see if you can find the same wall that you have a couch, but see if there's a wall where you can do a squat up against the wall. Now what this does is it makes it easier to keep the weight in your heels and not in your toes. You can go down to 90 if you'd like, or a little higher. The goal is these muscles work, not your knees. Put your upper back against the wall. See how in your head, see if you can work on posture while you're here. So you're strengthening those muscles on the back of your body and you're pushing 10 into the wall. Like you're trying to push the wall away from you. Eight, seven more, six more, five, four. Your toes are so light you could lift them. Three. Two, now push into the wall and come back up. Nice job. And then we're gonna go back into our weight training. So take one heavier weight or two lighter weights for an overhead tricep press. So let's say you take two, three pounds, one in each hand, or I wanted to offer a heavier one like you guys both have. Good, and bend. Oops, I hit my ponytail. Let's see if I can get done without rearranging my ponytail. But that's how close the weight is to your head that it's got a nickname shape, the back of the head, that your weight is close. Now don't hit your head, but it's close to your head. It's not way far behind from you. Your abs are pulling down your ribs. Nine. Neck is easy. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, now, if you want, take some more. That was 15, but maybe you can take 16. Maybe you can take 17, 18, 19. Now, on the 20, we're gonna come down, or let that down, and take your arms, gonna move that one arm, and pat yourself on the back. Now, with the arm that you're stretching, lean. And then the other. 
way. And down, interlace, open up. Really good. All right, now this is gonna be upright rows, but with hand weight, so that it's like this. Because it's like a, because it's a shorter lever, you can usually take more. So I'd take at least a five pound weight. Might be able to do more, but it's a shorter lever. So your elbows go wide. Yep, that's it, Jean, and palms face your thighs. Good, let your elbows always be higher than your wrist. Four, your elbows are higher than your weights. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, okay, take five more. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now lower that down. And let's take your hands at the back again, palms together, open up. Five, four, three, two, shake it out. And we're gonna need two heavier weights for this. This is called the bent over row. So at minimum, take a five. If you have an eight, that would actually be good too. Um, and I'll show you, cause it's a big back muscle. So you are, I have an image of like a, a squat and a table. So your legs have a mini bend knee, a knee bend. Your back is, is flat. Now you bend your elbows like you're pulling a lawnmower, you bend your elbows. Yep, bend, good. So make sure your back is not round. You are not a Halloween cat, you are a table. I, and I can see both of you, that looks good, good. Your elbows point back to the wall behind you when you lift. Very good, now keep your heels heavy, keep your quads strong, and kind of lift your sit bone up so you're not rounded. I like it. So it's like you're starting a lawnmower. Four more, three more, two more, and one more. Very good. Get those out and take a sway. Good job. Now you know how we did one heavier weight earlier. We're gonna take two smaller weights for the tricep press and it's probably going to be two threes, two fours, maybe two fives, um, but two of individual, individual hand weights. You touch them together, kind of like they have a little Velcro, but then you carefully could put them close mm -hmm. to the back of your head. Now you point, you, yes, the end of your weight goes up. You bend and exhale. So we have two little hand weights. You got it, Jean. And exhale. Good. And make sure you feel a little tone in your abs. Five, neck is soft. And I am focusing here, triceps. We've done a few. We've done the Donna Band, and we've done the heavier weight, one weight, and then the two. These are really important for catching. If you were to fall, that is usually what catches you. And if it doesn't catch you and you land on a hip that's got little fractures in it, that's when people break their hip. This also pushes you out of low chairs as well. Back of the arm should be boining. Three, two, one. And then let that down, let that down, let that down. Good. Now, um, have your, uh, I'm going to tilt my thing down, have, have a drink. I'm gonna tilt down and have your bands and your weights all real close to you, okay? So I'm gonna take a step, have your stuff way close to you, and we're gonna do a band row. You remember how we took the big weights and we did a bent over row? At this point, if you have two bands, grab two. If you don't have two bands, just do one and you wrap the one or the two bands around your foot, feet, 
Cross your band bands like an axe. Bend both elbows. And if you need more, grab your hands closer to the feet. Exhale. Good, Jean, that's really good. Betty, that's really good. And here you can, I can see that both of you have upright posture. Belly in, exhale. Belly in, exhale. You've got it. Exhale. Exhale. Neck is soft. Now what we're going to do is to take a little breather. So just let your feet go together and release any tension. If you want to rock, you can. Can open up that big toe as well. Inner thighs, stretching, hip stretching. All right, now take just one band. Just one uh, feet hook the band. Lean back, and when I say lean, still keep a scoop, like a big ice cream scoop went down your belly. Bend your elbows and straighten, bend and straighten. Now this is bicep curls and it's an ab crunch. So if you want to lean back more, back and add on. Good. Should feel abs, but also biceps. Two more, and then roll up. Now see if you can stand pretty tall, sit pretty tall, and pull to, it's almost like you're a V, I'm gonna turn. So it's almost like you're a V. You don't want your hands to touch the floor, but they are just above it. Good, you got it, long arms. Exhale, breathe. Breathe, lap pull, <sighs> exhale. This is really good for your back and the triceps, those muscles that we're always working. You notice we're also working the muscles that keep posture upright. Exhale, exhale, two, Ooh. Now take a little breather and cross your rope like an X. Put your elbows very close to your sides. This is external rotation. This is a lot of times in rehab, we're doing it prehab before any shoulder issues happen. Elbows glued, elbows glued, you got it. There's a little warmth happening at the back of your shoulder, near the shoulder blade, between the shoulder blade and the arm, but on the back side. Because our arms are forward so many times during the day in tasks and hobbies and driving on our computers and phones, these muscles need to help us. So we're strengthening them so the arms don't get rounded forward. So this is a great posture exercise. Now open up the elbows like a T and open. Resist the band's return as well. You got it, Jean. So it's kind of like a T, but it is slightly lower than your shoulder. Neck is soft. Rear delt, rear delt. Nice. All right, we're gonna add a little stretch. You can take your legs out wide like a V and go forward. Now release your neck, release your inner thighs. Have some, uh, enjoy, enjoy your stretch. Uh, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, 
to take another inhale. Come on up. We're going to grab a sip if you need it. I want to take a um, chest press. So we'll be lying down on our backs and we're going to put our feet on the floor and then we're going to be pushing our weights up. Yeah. So what you're probably going to have is a heavier weight. I'd say at least a five. Um, you can probably take an eight pound if you've been working on that. And each hand. You can always start with a weight and change it too as you learn. What you're going to do is lie on the floor and your feet are on. That way you have the ribs on the mat. Now you exhale and the two weight ends touch, they kiss at the top. Let your elbows go wide and come down like a field goal. You, you guys got it. Push. Um, Betty, take the um, chest press first instead of the fly and then push. Now bend the el uh, take only one end of each weight touches and then you bend. Yeah, there you go. Try that. We're going to do that set two. We're going to do the flies in a moment, but right now, just a, a 90 degree angle push. And now, are you breathing? Just double check. Uh, is the rib down? Are the ribs down? Just check. Is the neck soft? Exhale. The feet on the floor does help your ribs connect to the mat. Okay, we're going to take a full body stretch, arms overhead, legs long, and reach through your arms and maybe even wiggle the fingers and wiggle the toes. Five. Now, we're going to take a hug a tree. Take a hug a tree, and it's also called a fly. So it will be two ends of one weight touching two ends of the other. And then you open up like there's this hug you want to give a tree in front of you. Hug a tree, open, good, and hug a tree, good. Now your hands, um, actually you can touch the weights together the other way, Jean. So yeah, the palms are facing each other at the top. And then you open, and then you touch, the palms are facing each other. Touch. Touch, touch, touch. Exhale, exhale, exhale. And this is chest, ribs are down. Take one more, let the weights down, and this is a great chance to take a full body stretch, arms long, fingers wiggle, toes wiggle, stretch through your arms, stretch through your legs, stretch through your back. And then take a very light weight. So for example, the highest that you would do here is five. And a three would be just fine, probably a four, a five, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Sideways, elbow on your body. Do you remember when we did these with the bands? This is called external rotation. And this is more, these are little muscles, so not a big weight at all. This is endurance. Four, five small muscles, six, so these are stabilizers. Seven for the arm bone. Eight. Nine. We're going to do ten on the other side. So take your arm and act like it's a pillow on the other side. And then let your elbow glue and to your rib and then open up that forearm. Ten. Good. 
Nine, wrist is neutral or straight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Get rid of that. And then we're going to take our foam rollers. Uh, if you need a sip, grab it. We're going to do some posture work for the foam rollers. So, you're going to feel, hey, this way I can make my mat two ways, yeah. All right, you're going to take your arms kind of like a Y. Go up and down. Go up and down. And go up. Good. So we are building bone density here and we are building back strength. The triceps, the back of the arm is also working. When you do this well, it is, yeah, I see it. Upper back might be able to get taller now that we've been here. Neck is soft. Now, find a place, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, lower. We're going to do two more sets of 10. Lift up, 10. This is so we have, um, it's easier to hold our body upright longer. Good, Gene, that looks great. Betty looks great. Lower, we're going to do one more set. Here we go, up, inhale, 10. You can also feel your hamstrings a little bit and your glutes, but you're not contracting your glutes so hard that your back is jammed. And then lower. Now, it's a child's pose that will release our low back here. So your hips could be up in the air, especially if your knees don't like to bend that much. Or you can even leave your arms on the foam roller and relax the neck. We're going to do a few inchworms. Um, with the abdominals in mind. So we're going to make sure I have enough room back here. Take your forearms on uh, the floor, the mat. Take your foam roller on the far end. What we'll do is take the toes towards each other so it's like you're internally rotated or pigeon toed. You're going to bend the knees 10 times and then straighten them. Two for inchworm. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now rest. Good, Jean. Good, Betty. Let's do a hip lift. This is like a pike, also called a dolphin. So let your forearms down, legs long. Now go up with your hips, but knees fairly long. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. Okay. Now we'll do inchworms corner to corner. Take your legs long, but then bend them to your left elbow, straighten, and then bend them to your right elbow ish. Three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Recover. Now we're going to do hip lifts to a corner plank, hip lifts to a corner plank. So go up, plank, up, plank, up, plank. All right, six more, six, five, four, three, two, recover. Woo! All right, 
Nail. Let's take a sip. We're gonna do a little bridge for the back side of, this is back and hamstrings, but we're just grabbing a sip. Mm. Good. <clears throat> Lie on your, yeah, we shoot for about eight ounces of water or so during a class. So feet on, back on the mat, feet on the foam roller. And you're going to put your hips in the air in bridge and then down. And your hips in the air and bridge. And I know I do these frequently during the week. This is a little rehab exercise sometimes for people with back issues. And we use it for prehab. But the glutes, it's so common to have gluteal dysfunction these days with all the sitting. So this is something that helps the back so much. Articulating your spine. You're as young as your spine. Now stay up and just hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, lower and then take your hands to your feet. 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Now we're going to pop up for a moment and we're going to roll out some things. So roll out near your armpit. Um, this is called the lat. So this is really important if you've ever had tight shoulders, if you do have tight shoulders, and if you've ever had a tight low back. That's one reason I hit this one frequently. Roll back and you'll feel around the shoulder roll around that twisted part of the lat. That big muscle, it's the biggest back muscle we have. It is important for uh, preventing internal rotation. So you know one of my um, themes is to try to help us with posture. But that also relates to mood and to breathing capacity. So that's basically quality of life. Being able to get full breath to energize the whole body and to keep those, the hormones know when we're folded over and they get sadder, the hormones know when we're, they respond to that upright posture and increased breath and they instill confidence, energize, energize vitalize. So take a moment and let's do the other side. This one, armpit. All right, now does one feel different than the other? A lot of us, the dominant arm is tighter, internally rotated. So if you, let's say I'm on my right arm right now, let's say you're on your dominant arm, you could do a few more rolls there than the other side, or maybe you'll find different spots. So you can make this your own by just individualizing it. Let's say you find an exquisite point of pain, a trigger point. You could actually stay there longer. Breathe. Two, good. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take an inhale. Now we're going to also take a upper back roll. So take this on your upper back, it's going to be about right there, okay? So you're going to take your hands like a pillow or a cradle for the back of your skull and then lift up your hips and now roll out your upper back. You could do a back bend or you can do flexion. Four, three, two, 
three, two, and one. Now what you can do is lie on your foam roller where your hip is on one end, your upper back and head are on the other, and your arms are like a T. This is a way to stretch the shoulders and the head is on. And some people like to do a little right and left because you're accessing the rhomboid muscles, the muscles between the scapula that they usually get riddled with trigger points because the arms are forward in most of our daily tasks and hobbies and the rhomboids responsibility is to pull the scapula back. And so when they get overpowered by the front muscles, the chest and the anterior delts, they get tired and they get uh, little trigger points in them. So this is a great exercise to get them. The chest is open, opposite of how we are during the day. The muscles that attach to the sacrum have little feel good sensors. So you might feel it, it feels especially good and around the hips, the back of the head, there is the occipitalis muscle. And just let that body go. Five, you can even take your feet soles together and your knees open. Four. Three. So this is a great exercise for your chest, shoulders to open, to have good, to help with posture. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, gently wiggle your fingers and your toes and come back up. And then you can have a seat and... See if you can take a stretch like this, cow face. Oh, nice. Oh, just do the best you can. This is another stretch that'll help the posture. Okay, here we go. Other side. Nice. Yeah, help it out, Jean. Not always this nice. The bottom arm. Yeah. Look at you. Everybody's doing so good. Breathe. Now let the breath be a secondary stretch from the inside out. Let it go when you're ready. Take your palm towards me and... This is all the gripping we did with the bands and the, the weights. Oh. Take the other hand and just feel. Great, dropping the shoulder. Try the other hand, just grip, just drop. palms together. Now go low, 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 and when your hand starts separating, there's probably a place where you can feel a stretch. Now these hands can come behind you in prayer pose, and this time they try to go up. Good. We're going to end with a little feel good. Oh my goodness, great. Now just, uh, Liberace, just kind of wiggle your fingers. Spread them out like pieces of biscotti are in between them. Or peach pie. It was peach days here in Utah, southern Utah. Peaches galore. All right. Now take a moment just to rest your hands on your heart. And notice how good you feel when the muscles have all been given attention. They're getting stronger and the... Our goal is that the joints feel cared for, they're getting lubricated, but they don't feel traumatized. So there is a strength and flexibility. So you're strong, but you're supple, you're strong and you're flexible. 
and there should be a feeling of increased stability around the joints because of the exercises we did on the front and back and the posture should be a little easier to keep upright. So just embody that feeling so that that feeling lasts longer. We're going to set an intention that we're aware of our strength and our flexibility, our balance, our mobility over the next couple hours and just enjoy that. So whenever you're ready, come back into the room and with so much appreciation. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Have a great Tuesday. Bye.